be honest. When was the last time you said, man, I can't wait to cool 5,000 raw images tonight. I didn't think so. Hello everyone, this is Ernesto with Aftershoot. And if you're anything like me, cooling feels like less part of the creative process and more like a punishment for taking too many good photos. But don't worry, AI is here to save your sanity and maybe even your social life. Today I'm breaking down the top three AI powered photo cooling tools, Narrative Select, Aftershoot and Filter Pixel. I'll walk you through how each one works, what they're good at, and what might want to make you throw your mouse across the room. Let's get into it. Let's start with Narrative Select, the one that feels like your super organized friend who color codes their closet and alphabetizes their spices or something, but in a cool way. Narrative doesn't actually cool your photos for you. Instead, it shows you things like whether your subject's eyes are open, if they're in focus, and even if they're giving you a dreaded I blink during the best photo look. It's like having a robot assistant whisper in your ear, don't pick that one. Do not pick that one. It's especially useful for portraits or wedding shoots or any kind of photo shoot where you have a lot of near duplicate shots and need help choosing the best expressions. And the speed is no joke. This one opens raw files extremely fast. Now it's definitely not perfect. Since it doesn't auto cool, you're still the one doing the picking. It just helps you do it faster. And if your internet is being kind of weird, some of the features might not work properly. Plus, the free version is good, but if you want the full potential of the software, you're going to have to pay. I'm not saying that paying is a problem. Honestly, you have to pay to get what you want. All right, next up is Aftershoot, that software equivalent of someone kicking down your door and saying, don't worry, I got you. As soon as you drop in your images, Aftershoot immediately goes to work, sorting out the blinks, the blurs, the duplicates, like a photo ninja. It even tags your best shots and starts learning your style over time. It's like an assistant that learns from you every time you go to work. The real bonus, it works offline. So you can cool your photos on a plane, in the woods, at the doctor's office, or while hiding in the bathroom at that wedding that just went on for too long while your human assistant is out there dealing with everyone. We've been there. It even has a built-in editing tool called Aftershoot Edits, which can take care of photo adjustments. It's great for bad shops or where you just want to get those images out the door quickly. That plus Aftershoot Retouch makes this a no-brainer. That said, Aftershoot isn't always subtle. I was reading through some forums and noticed people say it sometimes might cool out some photos you might actually want, like those candid moments where someone's laughing meets niece. Uh, they also mentioned that the interface takes a minute to learn, but all of this can be easily dealt with. But that is what people said in forums online. And now let's talk about Filter Pixel, another AI cooling tool that's gained some attention lately. It offers a nice mix of automation with some customization options. You can adjust settings like sharpness tolerance, closed eye detection, duplicates, which can help refine results a little bit more. The face detection and smile scoring features work perfectly, and the interface is pretty straightforward. Easy enough for beginners, but with enough options to tweak things. It also works offline, so that's always a bonus. But while it does a good job at lighting in the load, it doesn't quite go as deep as Aftershoot when it comes to smart automation or learning from your preferences over time. And there is no direct Lightroom plugin, which adds an extra step because you have to export photos. Some users also say it tends to keep too many maybes, so it might not save you as much time if you're, if you're aiming for a tight final selection. Okay, so here's a quick recap. If you want to stay hands-on, but with smarter tools helping you spot the best images, Narrative Select is your guy. It won't make choices for you, but it will definitely help you make faster and better ones. If you want maximum automation, adaptability, and speed, then Aftershoot is by far the most robust option. It's built for pros who need the results fast. Whether you're shooting 500 photos or 5,000 photos, it even learns your preferences over time and handles editing too. So it's more than just a cooling tool. It's a workflows powerhouse. And if you want something more in the middle with a bit of automation and also a bit of control, Filter Pixel gives you that flexibility though with fewer advanced features and slightly more manual cleanup at the end. For me, as you guys already know, Aftershoot is my go-to for weddings, events, or any session where speed matters. Narrative is great for tight portrait sessions where you want to decide on the best expressions. And Filter Pixel, it's a solid alternative if you're just starting out or want something simple. But when time is tight, Aftershoot is definitely the one I trust to deliver results. So that's the breakdown. Whether you're drowning in raw files or just looking to shave hours of your workflow, AI cooling tools are worth exploring. 
unless you really enjoy manually comparing 47 identical photos where the only difference is someone's left eyebrow. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to follow Aftershoot in all of our social media to be always up to date with the latest information we have to offer. See you guys in the next one. Bye.